guys, how's it going? And I stay here in Tennessee to be working on some good old Janitrol equipment. This unit right here is one of the very first units I ever worked on when I got out of school and started working out in the field. And here it is, 16 years later, it's still chugging along. It's running great. I remember back then, I had a bad defrost board. I changed the defrost board out on it. Found a little bit of a refrigerant leak in the service valve areas. Sealed them up, put the caps back on, you know, with some nylog under them. And it hasn't leaked any since. Put a little gas in it back then, and 16 years later, she's still going. And you can see my charge is good. charge line run about 94 so we've got about nine degrees sub cooling we're right there super heat was about five yeah she's running about 45 degrees so you can see Super heat's about five. She's sitting at about 68 over 205 or so. But everything looks good inside. Put a good old Mars 2 capacitor in there a couple years ago. You can see the Mars 2 peeking out there. John Israel did a video the other day on those cheap Chinese capacitors. And man, I tell you, I'm right there with him. I've never seen such bad capacitors in my life. Linux capacitors over about the last four or five years have been absolutely pathetic. They don't last two or three years. They're already low. You go out and find one low on a preventative maintenance. You turn it in under warranty and then Linux wants to give you a bunch of flack about replacing it. And it's like, well, you say in your literature for warranty purposes, the homeowner has to have the system maintained. Well, that's what they're doing. And a technician goes and finds your capacitor below your tolerance, but yet you don't want to warranty it. That's real nice, Linux. So, anyway, you know, that Mars 2 capacitor, that thing was put in a long time ago, and I checked it earlier, and it is spot on the money. This is actually a little condo complex here. And there's another one just right on the side of this deck over there. I take care of that one too. These two little ladies have been having me come out here for years. I just do these two units back to back. They're always nice enough to schedule them together. It's not too awful bad in the crawl space. The indoor unit's just right inside here. So it's nothing terrible. But just keep this thing cleaned up. Still gotta wash the coil on it, but it's still pretty clean from having it done every year. So, I mean, I know everybody always called these things junk trolls, but the proof's in the pudding, you guys. You take care of the thing, and here it is, still running. It is a 1995 unit. Let's see if we get a little model of serial number for you. There it is, you can see. And still running right along there. Uh, but anyway, you guys hope everybody's doing good out there bright sunny day here the birds are singing i appreciate you guys watching leave me a comment below like subscribe and i'll see you on the next one